Angelo Cerbi, Fred Film Radio from the Venice Film Festival. I'm here with Sean Evans. Hello. Hello. Director of Roger Waters' As and Them, this monumental film about a monumental show, which is my first question. How, you know, you, I mean, you've been working with Roger since a long time. How did you build up this movie and show together? Because it was, must have been a kind of uh, intense. It was, it always is with Roger, I mean, which is part of the fun of it. Um, but, you know, honestly, we did it very quickly. Um, this came off the heels of uh, Desert Trip, which we spent a lot of time working on. And um, then Roger went to finish his record. Mm -hmm. And we only had, I don't know, two or three months to put the show together, which for us is not a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we're very fortunate. Uh, the music, it's, you know... Makes it's it's like hard to choose the songs. <laughs> it's very hard to choose the songs. Yeah, uh, but it's also to it was it was relatively easy to choose songs mm -hmm. to say what we wanted to say. Uh, the show and the film as this kind of narrative thread of this mother and daughter that trying to get yes from that fleeing from their own country, trying to get to the Western world in order to be safe. And uh, this is a, in this time of the uh, of our lives is a very uh, outspoken choice because you are taking sides, you know. And it's not, it's not. I mean, I mean, you know, in the music world, it's not very easy that people take sides. Um, I think sides need to be taken. Oh, uh, well, you tell me. I know. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree I, completely. To, to me, this is it, it's an interesting one because. I don't feel like that. that's a, a humanitarian message. Is that taking sides, saying that people should be allowed to live and yeah. shouldn't be bombed? I don't know if that's taking sides. Well, this uh, gives I you mean, the situation. Uh, uh, that story of, yeah. of the, the, the girl and the mother was based on, loosely based on, um, the Syrian boy that washed up on the Turkish shore, who mm. was very instrumental in Roger's lyric writing for the, for the record. And w we, had to, we had to say something. I mean, I even in... Um, working on this film in the last few months, I went back and reread the, re the story and why they were fleeing and all this, and it's it's mind blowing. Like, how could we not be saying something? How, how could we not be doing more? I mean, making movies isn't enough. I mean, it's 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 their story is intense. Actually, the the, the artistical choice you choose to uh, uh, to build up the show is very uh, thorough in, ter in the terms that it's really um, strong. You know, I mean. People, the audience, it, both in the arena and in the cinema, are like like wiped away by these images and the, the, the gigantic images that you that you chose and the, the kind the building up of the of the Battersea power station. Everything is really spectacular, but spectacular just not for the sake of it. Yeah, there I mean, a, I, there it, is a it, meaning it, behind it, that. It's it's always it, to me. It's important to have an arc. It's important to that. You're not just turning everything on, uh, always on and off all the time. It's important that it has a build, and uh, it's important that it moves people. If it's if we're not moving people, we're failing. So the well, you didn't fail <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> and the sound was amazing as well. Great. Well, thank you very much. My Thanks pleasure. a lot to Sean thank Evans yeah. for having been with us. I'm Andrea Cherby for Fred the Festival Insider. Thank you. Thank you.